Uh, I'm Pauline and this is a quick tutorial on what Scratch 3 looks like um, if you're going to make the interactive logic puzzle. So on the left are your different palettes of different types of code. We're going to spend a lot of time here in events because that's where we're going to get our win flag clicked and we're also going to get these win key press. Now if you grab one of these blocks, what you do is drag it over here to your coding area. I'm actually going to minimize this a little bit. So this is where your coding area is and you can already see I already have a lot of code in here. So I'm going to click over, I'm going to make this a new sprite. So I'm going to choose a sprite here under the search bar. And, oh, you know what? I want to choose the random sprite because I think it would be more fun. And I know that's going to make my video a little longer, but let's do surprise! All right, now I have a dinosaur sprite. So you can see now there's no coding, and that's because what we have is on the left is our coding blocks. This is our workspace in the middle where we drag our code, and I can see that I am putting this on this dinosaur. So if I want the dinosaur, when I start the game, to glide for one second across my screen, probably going to have to, let me, let me set him up here. So he's going to start out right there at the top, and you can see the X, Y coordinates change. And then if I wanted to go over here, when I start the game, now I'm going to grab that glide and see it changed it again. So now, let me make this a little bigger. Boop -a -doo. Oh, I'm in the way. I'm putting me in here. Now I hit the flag. You should start at the top. Woo! And fly down to the bottom. So that's one way to start. And then also, if you look over here in looks, maybe he's going to say something. And so to have him say something where you see it and read it, you need to go to looks. I'm flying. He's probably going to say it afterwards now the way I did it. I'm flying. All right, so let's get him to say it first. Oh, now I'm saying it and then he's going to fly. So see, you can have some bugs like that to work on when you're coding. So we don't want to do that. We'll put them down here. All right, now I, if I want to get rid of this code, I can just drag it back over here and then voila, it's disappeared. Uh, also want to know where the Makey Makey block is. You find it by click clicking on extensions and you can click on Makey Makey and then it will add it to your blocks here. And now when I have this, I could actually use my when space clicked and I could make him do things this way. So maybe I want him to, I want him to do a riddle. So I gotta go to looks. And I'm going to have him say, hmm, I need to make a good banana joke. What do monkeys like to eat? It's not a great joke. But what I'm going to do is, if that's how I start my game, in fact, actually, let me put that on the no, 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 when flag clicked block and move my when space key pressed so that I would connect space to a banana, and then I would have, da, 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 he'd say, so when you click yes, or when you click the banana, he'd say yes, bananas. Okay, so now if I click the flag, he's going to say what do monkeys like to eat, and the butterfly's still talking because I made that game too, and I hit space, and actually the butterfly's talking too, and the dinosaur says yes, bananas. So this is how the game is set up um, to create riddles that you have to answer. So if we look back at the butterfly, move me, then the butterfly, when the flag clicks, is going to ask about solving games. And then when you answer the question, so the first thing you answer is uh, you touch the copper tape, and that connects to space. And he says, what, what is your first riddle? I bend and fold so your chips won't get old, and it's a little binder clip. So then when you touch the binder clip, it's connected to down, and then, hang on, it's not, none of it's going for me. All right, so if I say down, then he says, can you draw a perfect circle? And the perfect circle is you grab the round thing, and you, it touches right for you. And then using the pen tool, it actually draws a circle. So the pen tool is really cool. It's down here, and you can, you're going to want to put the pen down to make it draw. And then you can have the pin move around and you can do all kinds of really cool geometric shapes. So that's just a fun way to um, add a little bit of geometry to your logic puzzle. So I hope you feel a little bit more familiar with Scratch. Notice I have all these different sprites down here. 
when I click on a new sprite, it looks like all my code is gone, but that's because my butterfly has a set of code and my dinosaur has a different set of code. Um, and you have all these other things to look at, and here's where you have your backdrops too. So make sure that you play around for a little while before you start creating your logic puzzles. All right.